Welcome to the first tutorial by our new website is www.tutorialmayhem.com. Today we're going to do an abstract 3D twist like this one. Let's get started. Going to go up here to file, new. I'm going to do a high quality photo one. So it's going to be a thousand pixel by a thousand pixel. Make sure you have a transparent background. Go ahead and push OK. Make this a little bit bigger here. 85. Oops. There we go. 85. Alright. Now what you want to do is go to edit. Fill, go to color, drag it on down, press OK. Now create two new layers. On the top layer, you're going to grab your pen tool, make a blob, a four pointed blob, or a three po four pointed. My choice works better. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just making a weird blob. And my blob does suck. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and go to Pass, right click, Make Selection, go ahead and push OK. Now, I don't remember the action tool for this, but just click on your eraser, click it, it's going to retasize the layer for you. Now you're going to go to your gradient tool, you want to put it kind of like this, black to white to black to white, and you're going to be on the circular gradient. Okay, when you get that, the circular gradient's right here, you want to grab anywhere and just drag it onto one of the here I'm going to go to up here anywhere in it should get a target go back to your layers going to go ahead and go to filter sketch chrome detail on 0 smoothness on 10 alright you're going to get this control D takes away that little blinking line is pretty annoying now we're going to go ahead and merge all these visibles going to hide the background Control Shift E merges all of them. Click the background back in. Go ahead to edit, free transform, right click, perspective. Now we're gonna grab the bottom right hand corner and twist it where the bottom left hand corner was. Gonna get an hourglass kind of thing here. Double click, does the selection, control T, transform, perspective, right click. Now we're going to grab the top right hand corner and drag it to the bottom right hand corner. You get like a weird looking thing here. Double click. Now we're going to basically go to actions. Oh. Go to new action, go to twist. Set, doesn't matter. Function key, you really want to remember this. I'm going to put F7. Record. Go back to your layers. Hit Control J. It's going to duplicate the layer for you. Now hit Control T. Right click. Set a perspective. We're going to click Rotate. Now, don't worry about the X and Y Z statuses. We're going to go to Width. Type in 90. Hit Tab. 90. All right. Now this is whichever one you want to do. If you want to space it out more, you can go to like negative 20. Spaces it way more. Or positive 10. It's going to space a little bit. You just want a little bit spaced. I'm going to use positive 10. Double click. Now you're going to go back to your actions, click stop, back to your layers. Now that key that you had, mine was F7, you want to make sure you clicked on the first blob, not the copy. Start clicking your F7 or whatever one you pushed. Don't push too many times or too fast or your computer will freeze if you don't have enough RAM. That looks pretty cool right now. I'm going to go ahead and drag all the way down here, hide the background, control shift E, merge all of them. And there we go, that's that. Now, there's your whole 3D thing. We're going to make color now. You go to new layer, edit, fill, color. I'm going to make a purple one. Oh yeah. Very manly. Go ahead and like that. Go to the screening type, color. There you go. Cool 3D thing. You can do it with four blo four pointed blobs. You can do just mess around with the different points on your pen tool and you can create different kind of things like this. Tutorial brought to you by www.tutorialmayhem.com